Hey, Jeff, this is Aaron Beard with the AP. Um, third quarter, you guys were only up six and kind of pushed out an 18-5 to five run, kind of stretched the lead back out and took back control or firm control. What did you like about the way you guys took that lead and stretched it back out to take control again? Well, I thought we we continued to play it's just to play with poise. Uh, you know, they did a really nice job of trying to el- eliminate our transition game, which all teams are going to do. So we like like I said in our, our, our pregame show, we've got to do a better job of half half court execution. We've got to be able to make reads. We've got to be able to do the small things. And if we can continue to develop and get better at that, then offensively we're going to be pretty hard to stop. And then we have to have everybody's got to rebound. Everybody on this team has to contribute and go to the glass. Because if not, it's, it's going to be a tough night for us. Because, you know, Olivia Cochran, at, at God, God bless her again, in 19 minutes she gets 11 and 12. Guys, that, that, that's, pretty, that, that's pretty damn impressive for a freshman. Um, you know, I thought Liz Dixon came in and gave us some good minutes as well at the, de- at the defensive end also. Uh, but we, we've just got to get more rebounding from our guards. Our guards have to commit to rebounding. And if we can do that, then I think we've got a really good shot. Hey, Jeff, Dominic Gates with the Courier Journal. You mentioned rebounding, and you talked about the need to do it better. Um, Is it just the blockout thing? Is it chasing the ball? You know, what exactly are you looking for in terms of that improvement? Well, we've got to put a body on somebody. We've got to put a body on somebody and get them out of there. We're not as big as we were last year. We don't have Kylie and Bianca, uh, so we don't have that size. So we've got to be able to continue to sit here. And Yassine, who rebounded, Jazz rebounded well for us. So we've got to be able to have our guards push back so we're rebounding the ball in front of us instead of trying to rebound the ball above us. Jeff Hayes, Jody Dimling with Cardinal Authority. Just can you kind of speak to the fouls tonight? Uh, Forever it was, I think it was just one there in the whole first quarter, and I think only 10 or 11 for the game. Did you you feel like you did a better job? You know what? It, it, it's like I told the uh, one official you know, towards the end. I said, I like how they officiated the game. I thought they let kids play. But the hard thing is, through our first four games, if you blow on somebody, they call a foul. So the inconsistency among crews is what the challenge is going to be right now for all players. But I tell them, you've got to adjust to however they're calling the game. If they're going to call, touch fouls, and you can't touch anybody. But, like, they were allowing you to, to ride them off ball screens. They were uh, physical on the drive. Well, you have to adjust to that. And if we can learn to adjust to that, then we've got a chance. Jeff, I wanted to ask you about defense. They had shot the ball well from three coming into tonight. I think they had 24 threes in their last two games. You gave up one. What did you like about the defense and maybe the way you closed out on the perimeter? Well, I thought we did a, right, a really nice job of making the ones that we wanted to shoot shoot. Um, our goal was to, to limit good child from, from any wide open threes. We gave her a couple, uh, and, and got lucky. She didn't make them, but oh, oh, overall, I, I thought we made the ones that we wanted to have to shoot, shoot, uh, because we tried, we tried to give Williams a little bit more attention in, in the post, uh, and make things a little bit more difficult for her. Anything else for Coach? If not, we'll uh, we'll get him here with Nick. Yeah, I got one more, Jeff. Sure. Yes, Dominique with the Courier. Uh, as far as Dane, I mean, she's been doing this time after time, but whenever she gets the hot hand like that and get going, you know, how much do you, you say, tell the players to say, you know, make sure she gets the ball and uh, lets her, you know, just do what she's done? Well, you know, no, and nobody ever really needs to say that. Our, our players are smart enough basketball players to know whoever's got the hot hand. I thought we did a good job in the first half of getting the ball to Kiana, you know, and, and, she, and she makes some big shots. So we try to get it to whoever is on at that point in time. Uh, and that, that's the growth, the growth of our team. I mean, you know, we've got to do a, a, a really good job of un- understanding who does have the hot hand at the per- this per- uh a certain time and get them the, the basketball. So we'll show film. We have a lot to learn from this game. There's no question about it, uh, but really pleased overall with how we play. Thank you. All right. I will let coach. I'll let Nick know you're ready for him. Perfect.
Joining us uh, now from uh, from Cameron Indoor, coach, you go on the road seven and zero now, all time in ACC openers, and uh, you win the the conference opener. No, Nick, it, w- it was a good win. Anytime you can get a road win, especially start starting off league play, you you've got to be pleased with it. So excited about that. Uh, you know, we came in here and it was a big game for Duke. There's no question about it. Uh, I, I thought we got out of the gates and played p- pretty well. We, we just really gave up too many uh, second-chance points there in, in the first quarter that, that kind of kept them in the game. We could have been up a, a 14 or 15 right there at, at the first quarter and kind of put the thing away. But we didn't have a very good uh, rebounding effort there in the first quarter. And then I was pleased with how we executed in the fourth quarter off offensively. You know, we, we, we should be scoring 80-plus points a night. But you do have to give credit to Duke for trying to slow things up. They wanted to call, run something every time down the floor and try to use clock. Uh, and then for a few possessions, we got them scrambling and playing at our, our tempo. We forced some turnovers, converted, and that kind of opened the game for us. Uh, you, one of the things you've talked about wanting to work on, fouling less. You fouled a lot less tonight. Well, we did, but I thought the game was officiated. You know, I really, I really liked how they officiated the game. And that's one of the things. They didn't call every touch foul. They allowed the kids to play. And that's one of the things that, that's a challenge for players. But it's something as, as the player you've got to be able to adjust to for the fact that you've got to be able to adjust to how the crew's calling the game. Our first four games, they called it a lot tighter. Tonight, they allowed you to play, which is what, what, it's what people want to see. They don't want to see a, you know, a parade to the free throw line one after another. The game's getting stopped. They don't want that. So I thought they officiated the game very well. Olivia, another double-double. She's had uh, now two in the last three games, three straight games. She's had double-digit rebounds. I know that's something you need a lot from. Yeah, she is doing a great job. I mean, in 19 minutes of play, she gets 11 and 12. I'm really proud of her. Uh, She's got great hands. She gets to that offensive glass. Uh, You know, had two assists and one turnover. I, I thought she played a really, really good game. She'll continue to play herself in into better shape. I thought Liz Dixon played well for us too. So we're going to continue to need th- those two, and then Mar- Mar- Marissa Russell is going to continue to develop and grow. Uh, so it, it's going to be a team that it, it's a work in, in progress. I don't think teams are going to press as much. So we're going to have to learn to execute in half court. It, it- you ended up with uh, nine assists tonight, and it seems like uh, a lot of buckets, some off offensive rebounds, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of players having to kind of create their own shot tonight. Yeah, what we what we've got to do a better job on offensive rebounds is when there's two people between us and the basket, is kick kick the thing out for an open three. You know, Haley drove in there, had a very nice shot, she missed it, she gets the O board. That's got to be a kick right out, kick that thing right out. O got one or two where. You know, she was kind of pushed off the block, but ended up tipping it to herself. Great ball control. And then instead of trying to go back up over, over two, just kick kick it out for an open three. But that's that that's learning. As we go, we'll continue to learn from it. We'll continue to get better. But really, really pleased overall with, the, with getting the win. Now we've got to get back home tonight. We'll have a day off tomorrow and get prepared for a very talented Carolina team on Sunday. Yeah. Three straight at home starting Sunday at four, North Carolina. That's the win. Safe travels home. Appreciate the time. I sure appreciate it, everybody. Thank you very much. Jeff Walls, head coach of the Cards, as Louisville wins it tonight on the road.